Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Now, in this episode, uh, we're gonna take a look at this procedural Zen garden once again. So two years ago, around two years ago, I made this video, uh, Live Nodding Procedural Zen Garden using geometry nodes. So this one is kind of similar. Uh, yeah, so this is the effects that we're gonna be recreating. However, you might see there's something interesting, okay? So uh, this one is slightly different, actually. Uh, you can uh, kind of paint on this guy. So this is kind of uh, special because you can actually paint it. And then this image will transfer into geometry nodes. Okay. So okay, you can draw whatever. This is the Blender Sushi logo. Yeah, probably. If too many things, it's not Zen anymore, but you know, that's okay. It's all about transferring your energy, right? From one, from one into the final artwork. Or maybe this is not final, maybe it's just some kind of experiment. So we're gonna rebuild this from scratch. Uh, no, I'm just joking. We're not gonna build this from scratch, of course, it's gonna be crazy. Anyway, this is the image. We transfer our energy, you know, from just by doodling into this guy over here. How did we actually do that? How did, how are we going to do this? So thankfully, thankfully, uh, there's this uh, like boo, or no, this uh, draw image by Killing Smalls. This, uh, the Blender artist made, oh, okay. He made some 3D art illustration. He is actually on a uh, on X, I think I believe. He posted some interesting things over here. Yeah, this guy over here. So this is the draw image geometry nodes. Basically, draw image based on original image over here, and. For us, we will be creating a Zen garden. Um, yeah, okay. So we'll see. This is kind of interesting, actually. Take a look at his works. So draw image. How did I turn it into this ripple of sands to draw Zen garden? Okay. okay first of all, there are two objects in the scene. The draw image, the draw image over here. I can lift this up a little bit more. So this is the original draw image. It's pretty cool. Uh, this geometry notes actually is from draw image. I will try to explain it in a bit. So draw image has a lot of control. Image scale etc right so basically the image have to fit a certain boundary smaller or bigger so it needs to fit a certain area and then it's gonna turn into this uh, drawing by Suzanne actually Suzanne Suzanne appears in this case let me randomize the color so so Suzanne will do the painting of the the snail logo. I can, as you can see, okay, I'm drawing it with black and white. So black and white, like uh, alpha image. So whatever white color is gonna be different. And if I if I switch it to black, let me show you. So this is the just Blender super basic paint mode. Okay, that's also gonna be drawn. Sometimes I quite like the the basic, super basic paint mode. This this image will transfer into shape. That's basically what it does. Okay, so it does it does other thing like drawing it from nothing as well. So that's actually a extra bonus. Um, so yeah, you can you can grab this grab this for free or you just uh, give a fair price five dollars or something 
Um, all right, so it's drawing curve and shapes. That's in itself, it's already quite powerful. Um, there's this image scaler, extra I want I wanna, and there's also image resolutions, RGB control, alpha, lots of control, including resample, resample stroke, stroke thick, thickness. Let's get a lot of effects, like almost like turning this image into like a grease pencil, almost. I, animation speed, we can control the speed of animations, how it's, how Suzanne draw it. Uh, we, we can get rid of, okay, get rid of uh, Suzanne. It's a lot faster now. Save this. Save this. Uh, we don't need to save this. So the image being created and then it's transferred. This painterly drawing, pixel drawing into these shapes and transfer it into the sands. How do we do the sands then? Okay, let me explain the this a little bit more actually. So if we dig inside, I believe, so it starts with a grid, some kind of grid boundary. There's multiply add, etc. There's image texture is getting this image. You can draw in real time and the image will be so there's a RGB curve to control, and then there's a lot of add. There's a color ramp, equal, delete geometry, extrude, merge. So a lot of this happening. But anyway, in the end you get curve and shape. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, I guess. You can dig inside and make modifications. Anyway, you get this, and then how, how do we do the sand? The sand things actually, this one is also from Killing Small from Twitter X. So what's happening here? Uh, in order to transfer to from this guy to this guy, we just need to grab the shape, which is now it's becoming like a curve, right? So the curve, we can use a geometry proximity and apparently using modulo. Um, so let's see how did I actually made a modifications to this originally it's it's like a some kind of a some kind of dust particles okay this is the effects that we have earlier uh, this is from killing smalls so mesh circle distribute points on the mesh make, make it 50 or less even less So it's make this kind of artwork. Okay. Like a ripple effects. So if you from a imagine like a mesh mesh circle, you just put dots, a lot of dots. Distribute points on the face, right? And then you want to use offset, just offset the point slightly using this field of energy from the curve. So this is the curve, uh, draw image, this, uh, this guy that has been transferred into the cur curve objects, shapes. This is actually a really useful tool, by the way. And then, and then it's, uh, it's going to transfer the energy. It's, uh, this one is scaling it. Okay, scaling the effects, a bit like that, and then uh, we use geometry proximity from the edges, and based on the that position, we use uh, divide and modulo. Uh, without the modulo, I believe. Okay, it's not. We need to use the modulo anyway. We can use the dot product. Um, yeah, if using dot product, you just get this result. Using modulo, you get that result. And you can control this with the multiplier. And 
and add in. But I actually continue further and then I modify the whole things until we get the sands. How did we do that? So instead of modifying, instead of, of modifying the points and offsetting it, I'm using, I started with a grid, like a normal grid. So grid, grid has a lot of subdivisions. I set the position and then offset it. Okay, that's uh, should be self-explanatory at this point. Hmm. Okay, I just need to. This multiplier will have to be a small value. Zero point. 0 0.02 yeah or because it's like kind of kind of like a ripple effect with an island hmm so the add-in can go in the add-in can also go out so it's a it's interesting kind of like a transfer of effects like a ripple I, I like the effects it's a I'm using my my logo there. It's kind of interesting, anyway. The logo is uh, what is this? Anyway, what does this mean? <laughs> it's, it's the eyes of Sanji. Anyhow, so. Let's get back to this. They multiply, add, normalize. So this is what I did. I actually add this first. And uh, we need to normalize as well. There's this multiply, add stuff that's going on. That controls the thickness of the sands, etc. I, I believe. Yeah, I normalize the the thing. And then multiply just the z because without the z it's gonna be exploding sort of or like pushing and pulling i just need it to go up and then after i do that i actually do the map range as well the map range we can with map range we can we can clamp we can clamp the result otherwise like this so i clamped it so it's, it's really controlling the Controlling the field, um, yeah, now it's becoming slightly different than before. All because of the blur. Don't forget to use the blur. Either way, I quite like the effect, you know, even without the blur. The blur. Just add blur a little bit so it's like softer. Now it's no longer, not no longer care. Okay. I'm no longer like a like a Zen garden, but that's okay. Set position, join geometry. We don't need this. Set shade, set material. For material, I I just use Sanctus material. Uh, marble, marble travertine, travertine, and we can then render. It looks a little bit like sand. In up close, it's not like sense, but I use noise as well. And then after a while, it's, it looks like a normal stone, so like a stone drawing made using just geometry nodes. What I really like, of course, is uh, the painterly effect. So let's say you back to the paint mode. I'm just like okay. Yeah, just control the control the radius and just erase everything, right? I can draw anything. What I'm gonna draw? X logo. Is this how you draw it? X X. 
Okay. Oh, I think it's probably just there. Yeah, I don't know what this logo. You can draw whatever. Uh, what should I draw? Drawing, I think, is the best. Drawing is the best therapy. Kind of like uh, transferring your energy. Like this is just like a mouse movement, right? <laughs> I don't think I did that correctly. But the fact that you can transfer it from image into uh, these 3D shapes, you can actually print this out into the Zen garden down there. It's pretty cool. Make it bigger. Yeah. It's kind of like a ripple into the sands underneath. Okay, so that's the, that's the whole idea. Um, hopefully you find it useful. Uh, uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.